So now it's time to see a little about heat of combustion, which is a very interesting heat or enthalpy, because we, in general, in engineering, we're going to be using a lot of combustions. And it sounds logic to make a special enthalpy or heat of combustion, which will uh, make us easier the calculations in general. So what is this? Essentially, is the energy released as heat when a compound undergoes complete combustion. So that's interesting. It must be complete combustion. You do not have complete combustion, then you're going to uh, have more complex calculations. But essentially, you suppose you have a complete combustion, and we're talking about oxygen by itself, under standard conditions. Standard conditions, 25 Celsius, 1 atmosphere. So the enthalpy you get of that, from that, it's exactly the heat of combustion. I think it's very useful when working with fuels, essentially, uh, let's see, fossil fuels, such as gasoline, diesel, and all coke, all, other, or all those type of uh, fuels, but it may be even done on methanol and ethanol and so on. Any kind of fuel, by definition. Actually, is any compound that undergoes combustion with oxygen, so it doesn't need to be necessarily a fossil fuel. And similar to that, the heat of reaction, which we're going to be analyzing, uh, is a combustion of reaction. You could say that. We're going to be talking about also on the lower heat heating value, which is essentially the enthalpy or heat of reaction of that combustion and subtract that of the vaporization because sometimes you have, I don't know, maybe 20% of humidity and 40% of humidity and 80% of humidity on the same fuel, let's say it's gasoline, for example. You have gasoline and you have different percentages. Well, even though gasoline by itself burns, I don't know, maybe let's say one, one joule, uh, one mole gives you one kilojoule, but it will depend on the moisture inside of that gasoline. Uh, if you have 20%, you're going to heat that little moisture. But if you have 80%, you're going to get more energy on heating that moisture. So the temperatures may vary. For example, this will not achieve a higher temperature, let's say temperature 8. And this will be temperature 1. Temperature 1 will be way uh, bigger than temperature 8. Now, higher heating value is the one that actually includes that heat of vaporization on the vapor. So I think this is more useful because in general you're going to have fuels that have uh, at least one uh, amount of water or vapor. So even though this will be the, the theoretical one, the practical one, the one that you're going to be using in the calculations are higher heating values. And this, the advantage on this is that you have directly that value. So even though you have this gasoline, plus the 20% I told you, well, instead of calculating that of the gasoline plus the heat lost uh, from this uh, evaporation, you're going to get directly that number. You don't need to do that calculation. And probably you are asking how do you calculate that? Well, in general, you may calculate that using heat of formations and reactions, but there are many data on this, so you could go directly to check out on tables, the higher heating uh, values and lower heating values of common fuels. Once again, hydrogen is not a fossil fuel, but you can use it as a fossil, uh, as a fuel. Methane, methane, I think those are classic, these are gases. Then kerosene, diesel, coal, and so on. These will have, of course, the lower heating value. Where is it? Lower heating here. For example, anthracite coal does not have the lower heating value. Wood fuel, well, you know that the wood has some water on it, so that's why you may be wondering why do you have lower heating values. And yeah, essentially this is a table, I have another one here, is the heat of combustion of common fuels. So whenever you hear heat of combustion, you must be sure that if they didn't specify you, this is the higher heating value. So you have the hydrogen, gasoline, how much kilojoules you're going to get for grams that you burn. You have one 
gram of gasoline, which is about uh, one, let's say one milliliter approx, even though it's not exactly that, but let's say one milliliter of gasoline is going to give you 47 kilojoules. So that's actually a lot. It's about 11 kilocalories, those that you see in the food, well, you're going to get 11 kilocalories, whereas carbohydrates will give you only 4 kilocalories per gram. You have diesel, ethanol, many common uh, fuels, and yeah, essentially that's everything on heat of combustion. I just wanted to present it to you, so whenever you hit that, you don't need to like worry about that. It's only an enthalpy of combustion. And if you really want to check out some exercises, I'm going to be adding them at the end of this block, even though this is not typical for thermodynamics. Uh, I'm going to include them. This is typical for energy balances courses. So if you really want to check that out, go and check out this course. If not, you can stick here. I'm uh, probably going to add you some basic uh, problems on heat of combustion. What's up guys, it's me, Chemical Engineering Guy. So if you like the video, why not push the like button? It really helps me to know if you're liking the videos or if I should be changing something or if I should be adding something, taking out content, whatever. Also, sharing is caring. So if you got any kind of friends, teachers, colleagues or whatever kind of person that might be interested in this type of content, why not share it? Sharing helps our community to grow faster in members and in content. If you want to keep track of my activity, videos, uploads, experiments, playlists, whatever content I'm getting on YouTube, be sure to click the subscribe button. Subscribing to the channel is totally free, guys. My dream is to create an online academy of chemical engineering, where everyone can access it in the world. Imagine a place in which the student, the teacher, and the engineer get the best of each other. Thank you, thank you, thank you guys for the support and the love.